Now the fall seasons are right around the corner and I'm doing all my prep work for that. And I come across some uh, jewel weed and that was a good reminder that I needed to replenish my stock. Uh, the jewel weed is just a phenomenal remedy for itchy rashes uh, due to poison ivy, poison sumac, poison oak, bee stings, um, all kinds of things like that. Now in my case, I do a lot of nuisance wildlife removal for the dairy farms up here and I trap a lot of beaver. And uh, I utilize the fur because it doesn't make any sense to waste such a fine natural resource. So all the fur goes to the fur market. Um, but I have an allergy, believe it or not, to uh, the oils in the beaver fur in the beaver caster. And my hands will swell up itchy and bubbly and uh, give me a lot of grief. Now I have tried numerous off the shelf remedies. Uh, Rula gel, Ivy Dry, Calamine Lotion, probably a half a dozen different types and only found very, very temporary relief from it. Um, but this jewel weed makes it go away entirely. And the best thing about it is it's free, uh, it's natural, and it'll make you feel good about it too. Because when you go out and you harvest it and you make your little concoction and your home remedy, uh, does the trick it'll make you feel good about your little project so um, this is a fun little project to do with your kids and I'm going to show you how to identify it and gather it and make some uh, little jewel weed ice cubes that I can have and then when you use those ice cubes and you rub it on a rash it's uh, very very pleasurable so I'm going to show you how I go about this now it's windy today and I hope that the wind doesn't affect the audio too much but I'm out gathering today, so I'm going to do some filming and we'll hope for the best. Now the jewel weed, in most cases, I find will grow the best in a, a moist area. Uh, if there's an area in the woods where it's damp, it'll grow there. I'm, out, I'm right out and behind my barn right now, and there's patches of it all over the place. Now here it is here. It has a cone-shaped flower very very unique a very unique looking flower to it and it also has little seed pods that I will show you when I find one here if you have a spot near your house that's convenient to harvest some I really recommend going out with a pair of scissors and cutting it and rather than pulling on it because as soon as you go to pull on it the root ball will come out of the ground very easy and if you just cut it you will be able to go back and uh, keep harvesting it year after year so something to keep in mind. The leaves on the jewel weed are very, very soft. They're very soft. Uh, the stems are hollow. It's got a hollow stem and it's very milky on the inside. The best way to identify it, of course, is by the flowers. Now, if you do get poison ivy, you can simply just take the plant, crush it up, rub it on your skin, and you will get relief from that. Um, but I'm thinking a little bit more long-term here because I'll get poison ivy uh, a lot of times in the winter time from harvesting firewood. So I'm going to show you how I prepare it and I'm going to freeze it in ice cube trays. And uh, when you have a really bad rash that's itchy like you know, poison oak or poison sumac and you take one of these jewel weed ice cubes and you rub it on those infected areas, it's very, very pleasurable and it offers instantaneous relief and it's just a wonderful plant. It's a wonderful plant. Just cut it up in smaller pieces here, put it in the pot and let it simmer. I'm cutting the stalks so they'll release some of that milky substance that they have on the inside. Now if you have issues with poison ivy like I do and suffer from uh, rashes due to allergies uh, and things like that and you take the time to go out and pick some jewel weed, you'll be glad you did. I can tell you that. The best thing about this is it's natural and it's free. And when you get great relief from your own home remedy, it'll make you feel really good about your little project. You'll be glad you did it. So um, I can't say enough good things about the jewel weed. Now, if you don't have the flowers to use the plant for identification, they also have these seed pods on them like this here. And as soon as you touch them, they pop open. You see that? Watch it again. 
the little seed pod and as soon as you touch it it pops open springs right open and disperses those seeds a pretty cool way for this to um, repopulate itself and that must be where the touch me not name come from now I have a nice pot full of the chopped up plant here and that's all from just a small handful I see no reason to harvest more than you need and I'm going to simmer that and that'll make a nice potent tea that'll offer me a lot of relief later in the winter I've got a couple inches of water in there and I'm going to let that simmer down to a nice concentrated liquid well, I let the pot get good and hot but not quite to a boil and then I shut it down and I'm just going to let it steep here for a few hours. Already you can see we got a nice dark potent tea coming out of it. And I'm just going to let it steep for a while and let it cool down and then we'll strain it into some ice cube trays. Okay, I've let it cool down now and it's a nice rich colored tea there and I'm going to uh, strain it out and put it into some ice cube trays. Gonna give it a good squeeze, get the rest of the juice squeezed out of it here. Now I prefer to strain out the stuff before I put it into the uh, ice cube trays. Just because there's little leaf particles and all of that. And when I'm letting an ice cube melt against my skin, I don't like to have all those little pieces of leaves and stems and stuff like that sticking to my skin. So this just works out a little bit better for me. When you have poison ivy or poison sumac or something like that, I'll tell you there's nothing more soothing then one of these uh, little ice cubes really do the trick well there you go folks uh, I'm just gonna chuck them in the freezer and once the cubes harden up I'll put them in Ziploc bags and they'll be ready for me whenever I need them I always use a separate set of ice cube trays for my jewelweed I don't know if uh, jewelweed is considered an edible plant or not and I'd rather be safe than sorry but I do know that it's one heck of a remedy for itchy rashes like poison ivy. Um, now all I have to do is take one of these babies out of the freezer whenever I have an issue. Just rub it on my skin and it's going to take care of the problem. It won't cost me a dime either. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on jewelweed. The next time you have poison ivy and if you have some of these jewelweed cubes on hand, you'll be certainly glad you did. Well, thanks for watching. All the best to you.